Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to bring you guys along with me. I tried decoupaging for the first time. If you need some inspiration on a new project and some spring decor around the home, keep watching. Started off this project with some clear mason jars. I did get these from Dollar Tree. I started with painting the jars white. I actually ended up using a chalk paint by Waverly in the color plaster, but you can use any white paint to be honest. I painted over the glass jars twice with waiting an hour in between both coats. While the jars were drying, I went ahead and took these floral foams. I also got these from Dollar Tree as well. What I'm doing here is I'm just going ahead over them and painting them with a brown color. I'm using a Burnt Ombre by Apple Barrel brand. I'll be using them later because I wanted to attach them to the top of the jars and add some floral picks. Stay tuned, I'll show you guys that later. So I want to show you guys the napkins. You can use any decorative paper napkin. These particular napkins that I'm using today, the butterfly print ones here, which are my favorite, I got from a local store called Ollie's. And I also have another set of napkins that I'm going to be using today that I actually got from my local Dollar Tree. They say Happy Spring. I thought those were really pretty. The napkins usually have a few layers to them. These napkins in particular had two layers. They call them two ply, like two ply, three ply napkins. So yeah, these were a two ply. So I went ahead and tore those apart. You just want to Take it and make sure you just have it down to the single top layer. All right, you guys, so I have this water pin and what I did is I went ahead and kind of feathered around the edges of the napkin around where the designs stood out to me that I wanted to place onto the jar. So I just went ahead and did that and I went ahead and did it with the other napkins as well. So yeah, you just wanna go around and kind of deckle um, you know, obviously you can cut it, but it's best to tear or, you know, try to not have a straight edge because then it's hard to blend. So next, the jars are painted and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over the jars with some Mod Podge. Now I use Mod Podge in a matte finish. I'm not sure if there's a difference in using the matte finish versus like the gloss as far as durability but I just thought I wanted just more of a kind of satin matte finish versus glossy and then I took a spray water bottle and I sprayed the back of the napkin really why I did that was in the hopes of preventing wrinkles on the Mod Podge design when I put it on the jar but it still had quite a few wrinkles there but that's okay I'm gonna look up some more techniques and I think I'm pretty sure it helped. It helped. Um, I think where I did, went wrong is I didn't use a saran wrap. I probably should have tried that method. But anyways, we'll try it another time. But yeah, I went ahead and put a layer of Mod Podge on the jar and laid the napkin pieces around the jar and kind of put it, placed it where I want it to. I did go ahead and get around the edges as well. I was going to paint like the top of the jars, but I was like, well, I'm gonna be putting the lid back on and adding florals to the top. So I decided to just cover it. After I got all of the pieces laid where I wanted, I let them dry completely. And the next day I came in and I went over it with another layer of Mod Podge. So that is just to seal it in and give it a sealed finish and keeps it durable. I let it dry. I went ahead and put the lids back on and I was like, something's missing. I pulled out some burlap rope and I wrapped it around each of the jars just at the top to kind of add a little more to it. I'm using my hot glue gun to just glue the burlap around. I got this burlap rope from the Dollar Tree as well. Okay, you guys, so the floral foam disc that I painted earlier, these are what I wanted to go ahead and use and add some floral to. 
So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some floral moss around that floral foam. So I added the moss and then I glued the foam form to the top lid of the jar. I'm gonna be adding in these stems I found at Dollar Tree as well, you guys. I'll be honest, when I put it together, they look more like fall, but I liked, I, I like it. I love how it came out. I think these stems look really good with the napkin design with the butterflies and I still think it gives a spring look but I definitely think I can take these into the falls. I actually really really adore this. Now for the other florals I went ahead and used some succulents and added those. This was a really fun project you guys. I just wanted to inspire you guys to try it out if you've been wanting to try it and you definitely should it's really an easy process and I believe the more you do it the better you get at it so I'm excited to try some different techniques and I'll be sure to show you guys and take you guys along with me for that all right guys so these are all done and I'm gonna go ahead and just set them around my home the ones that say happy spring I went ahead and put them on this little stand that I have in my entryway and I had some garden rocks on hand and took these two little plate baskets. <laughs> I got them from the thrift like a year or two ago. I set them there and I just kind of put some rocks around it there. And I thought they looked really, really pretty for the spring. It's Among Us. With the butterfly floral print, I put these in another corner of my living room by a window. I think they look beautiful here. I really love these floral picks vines from Dollar Tree. And I just had really fun making this, you guys. I'll be honest, it didn't come out perfect this first time, but I enjoyed the experience and it is definitely something I can tell you get better at as you go. Thank you guys for watching and coming along with me. Let me know in the comments if you've tried decoupage before, if you've been wanting to try it, if you've been scared to try it. Let me know how you feel about decoupage and any tips or tricks that you use. I would love to hear from you guys, but thanks so much for tuning in to Lavender Afternoons. Thank you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.